The question that we've been asking is how higher interest rates are affecting the equity market and certainly affecting the housing market. We bring in PwC partner Mitch Rochelle uh, to talk about this. Good to see you, Mitch. Thanks for getting up with us. Good morning, Lauren. You know, if you look at the equity market yesterday, we had stocks up, right, up three days in a row for the Dow and for the S&P as interest rates came down for three days in a row and as the volatility, the fear gauge, the VIX went down for three days in a row. So that that proves just how sensitive the market is to rising rates. Yeah, and uh, get used to the roller coaster of interest rates going up, market going down. I think we're going to see a lot of that uh, throughout the year ahead. Um, if you look at the 30-year fixed rate now, just shy of 4.3%. For folks going to buy a home, this is a number that has continued to gone up. And as we hear from Mr. Powell today, perhaps he'll signal if we're getting three hikes in 2018 or maybe four. What do you expect that to do, what he says, what the Fed does to do to uh, the housing market? Yeah, and there's a decent amount of correlation between what goes on with the 10-year Treasury and mortgage rates. Um, so clearly the folks looking at buying a home or even refinancing their home are going to have to sort of pay attention, uh, not just to today and Chairman Powell's testimony, but what happens with interest rates. The fact of the matter is what's going on in the housing market right now is really more a function of very, very low supply, which is mm -hmm. driving up prices. And that's really creating more havoc in the housing market right now than interest rates alone. Yeah, so affordability is the headwind, is, is your point of view. Yeah, no, no question about it. And right. right now we're at less than four months supply. So Ugh. if houses aren't on the market and people want to buy them, they're just going to keep driving prices up, really putting a, yeah. a pinch in the wallet there. And this hurts those prospective first-time home buyers, especially who don't have that, that cash or that equity that uh, perhaps older uh, people would have. Um, do you think as we see rates and mortgage rates go up that people say, you know what, let's just get something now, get in before you see that uptick? Is that happening at all? Yeah, it's going to happen, and we're going to start, you know, we're entering into March, so the home buying season is going to start pretty soon, which is really the spring and early summer. But I'm, I'm very concerned about the very low supply, and as I said earlier, if there's less than four months' supply of existing homes, even if there's a flood of people putting homes on the market, it's still probably not going to be enough to meet the demand, and that's just going to keep driving prices up. So, again, I'm a little less worried about uh, what a half a point could do in interest rates to chill the housing market as I am what will happen if prices continue to come up go up because of a lack of supply so our home builders is not building enough the people that I talk to say they're building but not for the first-time home buyer they're building the more expensive homes is, is that what you've the, seen the, Lauren there's some truth to that the, I, I refer to all the L's land prices have gone up lumber prices have gone up uh, more importantly labor prices have gone up so the margins for home builders just aren't there really across the price spectrum from, you know, first-time home buyer type product to ultra-luxury product. As I travel the country and talk to a lot of people in the home building market, yeah. they're very, very concerned about the lack of uh, skilled labor to build those homes. Right. And I think that's the biggest structural challenge right now to the home building And, and Mitch, as you're speaking, you're saying uh, lumber prices have gone up and, and wages have gone up. Um, this is inflation. This is what the Fed has to combat, and this is what has the stock market very worried. Yeah, inflation is the thing that's going to be watched. Uh, you saw what happened to the market last month when the CPI number came out. Uh, the futures were up 200 when the CPI number came out a little uh, hotter than expected. There was a 500-point swing in the futures. Interestingly enough, though, the market closed up that day, but... Uh, Investors are looking very closely at what happens with inflation, as is the Fed. All right, Mitch, thank you so much.